Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this quick video I'm going to show you how to clone and build the open source cam filter library uh, in your local machine. Um, so first of all we need to clone the repository from github and here we are going to use the SSH link but before that we need to install locally the git. Um, so basically you can go to google search type git download Here you need to make sure that git bash will be installed because we will mainly use the git bash terminal to run the git commands. And here we select the uh, editor which will be opened when you uh, write commit uh, description. So when you make any changes and you want to push the changes to the remote repository, so you need to create a commit and for each commit you need to write some description and here we specify which editor will be opened by default when we need to write a commit description so here we choose notepad plus plus and then we download Then we go back to the uh, install of git uh, so we just press back the next again so now the next button here is available then we can select all these default options yes so now we can close both of these and then we can go to our uh, local folder um, then right click um, of course we press shift first then right click otherwise these options won't open so you need to press shift then right click so now you can see the git bash open the git bash here then git clone then we copy the SSH link paste it here yes now we see that um, the permission denied uh, because we didn't establish the SSH key in our uh, github account so first we need to generate the SSH key locally uh, from our machine and then take copy this generated ssh key to our github um, account and to do this we first do ssh dash key gen then keep press enter then now the the key is generated and to find the key you can simply go to uh, c users your account and then you find this folder dot ssh open it you find this file then you can select all copy so this is the generated key then go to your account here uh, settings then select the ssh keys here uh, this is the old one we can delete and then create a new one and here we can type whatever like windows pc or windows ssh key So now we we uh, establish the SSH key in our GitHub account. You can close this, and then here we try again to clone. So now the repository is cloned. So now the next step is to build the OpenKF project using CMake toolchain. So we can go here to the C++ uh, project, and then can open git bash here then uh, we can first uh, um, create a build folder 
uh, in, we, in where we want all the generated meta files, uh, the binaries, everything to be um, generated into. And we can use uh, the same command from Linux here in the git bash terminal. Um, we can call the folder just build. So then we go to build and then we can yeah, so now we need to install the CMake. So uh, simply go to Google search again, then CMake install. Um, here for Windows, download page. Then you can select this one because we are our PC is 64-bit. Um, Here we add the CMake to the environment variables, to the path environment variable for this user only. Next. Yeah, so now, after installing the CMake, we need to um, restart our PC because in order for the uh, for the environment variables to be reflected in our system and be able to use the CMake command. So, so now we are back again after restarting the PC and now we try to uh, run a command uh, of CMake, dash dash help. So now, um, command is working. Um, here it gives you the list of all the um, the meta file generator um, that um, can be used. Um, so for example, you can find the make file, you can generate make files or you can generate Visual Studio solution. In our case in Windows we uh, will generate a solution uh, for Visual Studio and the one installed in my PC currently is the Visual Studio 2019 and you can see here the star indicating that this is the one installed right now and it's the default. So we can um, copy this one then we type so now we are standing inside the build folder so we type cmake dot dot dash g now we paste the um, oh sorry Seems I didn't copy it correctly. Yes. Yeah, so now the next problem is um, here it seems that um, in our CMake, in uh, the Cam Filter Library project, we are trying to set the toolchain file uh, to the VC package, VC package. And um, the this toolchain file, um, to be located, we need to clone the VS package uh, manager uh, from GitHub. So we can simply go to Google search again, then type VS package GitHub. This one. So here, this is the Git uh, repository for the VS package, and we are going to clone it. So we can go to workspace maybe at this place and get clone yes and then if you check here the readme you find that um, here it says that after cloning you need to run this batch file this bootstrap batch file and this bootstrap batch file will generate uh, the executable file that we are going to use to install uh, whatever packages we need so um, so if you go here uh, sorry that's the wrong one so here in this package folder open git bash then can list so that's the this is the one batch file so that's for windows the sh 
file is for Ubuntu. So then we can Then, so now we have the executable file, so we need to use it to install the Eigen library. So the Eigen library in this package um, is called Eigen3, and uh, all libraries has two versions, one version for the 32-bit uh, PC and one version for the 64-bit PC. And in our case, since it's 64, so we can specify explicitly that we want the x64-windows um, variant. And now we install. Here at the end, it um, it tells you that if you need to use this installed library in your project, which is based on CMake, so you need to include these two lines of code in your CMake list. So the first one is to find the packages, the package where exactly the Eigen package is in, located in your PC after installing it using the this package, for example. And this one is to do the linking to the uh, to the binaries from the Eigen library and um, the package is found uh, by the help of specifying the toolchain file in the CMake lists from that I showed you in the previous step. So then now everything should be ready so we can go back to the Kalman filter library and then can try to generate again. Mm, something is missing. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, we need to add environment variable for the um, for the this package root. So simply, we can go to. So this step we missed. So we can take this directory then add an environment variable here and we can give it the same name as um, as specified in the CMIC list so we can open this so here this is the line where it set the toolchain file to the um, CMake toolchain from the Vs package. So here we need to copy the same name here of the environment variable expected and define it here. So that's the location where it can find the Vs package um, folder. Then OK. So now we will need to restart again to uh, have this new environment variable to be reflected in the system. So now we are back after restarting the PC again. So we now uh, type or try to generate the from the CMake, the meta files and the Visual Studio solution. So we just type CMake dot dot. So now it selects the by default the uh, Visual Studio 2019 as the default um, uh, generator, and then um, now we have the solution. You can just open it, and then on the right side here you can find all the examples that we implemented within the project and the Kalman filter library here containing inside here the Kalman filter library, the square root UKF library, the UKF library, since transformation. So this is the core library for the Kalman filter. And here are just a few examples that we implemented for each variant of the Kalman filter. 
So let's take, for example, one of these examples and try to build and run. So here I'm going to select this one, right click, then set as a startup project. Then um, we can do rebuild. So now building is successful, then run. Yes, so now we have everything working. So from this point, you can start investigating the code. You can try to make your own changes, see um, any modifications. You can uh, extend this to have your own example. If you want to try a specific example from your from any use case in your uh, from your experience uh, or the project you are working on. Yeah, and that's it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.